We live on a planet, one of eight in our solar system. We'll miss you, Pluto. These planets orbit a rather unremarkable star. Our star is in a galaxy, one of 500,000 million in the Milky Way. I know, big numbers again, but bear with me. This is the Pinwheel Galaxy in the constellation Ursa Major, a galaxy much like our own. This is the largest and most detailed image of a spiral galaxy ever taken by the Hubble Space Telescope. Every one of these points of light is a star. Every single one. Some are bigger and some are smaller than our sun, but they're all stars. Many of them have planets orbiting around them. Looking at this image, the idea that the Earth may be the only planet in the entire universe that harbors life appears almost absurd. It seems much more likely that there are many more planets like ours. Our galaxy is just one of many in our local group. And there are many, many galaxies. When we look up at the sky, we can see only about 3,000 stars on a clear, dark night. From that, it's easy to think that that's all there is. The universe almost doesn't seem quite so big. Now we know better. The Hubble Deep Field is one of the few examples that help us get our heads around just how big our universe is. The story's not over, though. Later, in September 2003, the Hubble did it again. This time, it looked at another unremarkable section of sky and stared at it again for a little over 11 days. They used improved detectors with different filters, and this time, they saw this. This is called the Ultra Deep Field. It represents the farthest we've ever seen into the universe. Over 10,000 galaxies are in this picture. This is a picture of 78 billion light years. It's a picture of how small we are. It is the single most important image ever taken by humanity. Oh, <laughs>